the personal sense of self is a self-created conceptual illusion. Very much like a daydream. Part wake, part dream. The conceptual and imaginal creation and presumption of a personal identity and a personal life story being lived in finite time. That you can fix as reality and identify with. That your consciousness is not yet fully matured. And therefore capable of realizing that your real eye is consciousness. The real life presence. The real self. The real subject of all knowledge. Not any object of knowledge. personal sense of uh, will as willfulness, personal self-concepts, self-images, personal feelings, desires, sensations that comprise the personal sense of life presence. the psychological fabrication a daydream that you continuously Posing itself upon your consciousness continuously so that you are never fully conscious. Partly conscious and partly daydreaming probably aware of the continuous conceptual sense of personal life presence. Like a movie projected upon the screen of your, of the stillness of your own consciousness. So that you can never be fully conscious. And therefore, in the conscious realization of the absolute conscious life presence of God, the Christ presence, Therefore, the entirety of what you call your life is essentially like a daydream. You are fully awake, fully conscious, 
only when the self-realization of your real self, the real I, the absolute conscious life presence, subject of all knowledge, the knower of all objects of knowledge, silent witness of all objects of knowledge. How can you possibly be an object of knowledge? What would there be in you to be the knower of it? Clearly, you must be the knower. Consciousness itself. And not any object of knowledge. Once you realize that you are the consciousness itself, that your real I is the knower, consciousness, which is the only means by which you can know, then removing your consciousness from all conceptual objects of knowledge. And focusing it upon the consciousness itself, the knower, the real I, in the heart center. Then the presence <clears throat> of your very own consciousness will be realized as the Christ presence, God's very own manifested presence of himself. God's word, image of himself, God's individualized, manifested form of himself as spiritual substance. absolute conscious life presence, which is a unity is love. The divine I am in you is universal love, perfect unity. made manifest is your very own divine I am or conscious life presence in the time of now.
So there is only one word of God. Only one manifested presence of God. Infinite absolute. Eternal now with heaven. The Spirit of God There is no other presence. No other presence for you to be, no other presence for you to see. of that choiceless realization of only one presence Christ simply is no other presence. No other conscious intelligence, no other life. No other being for you to be. There is only one living being. condition eternally now never changing and therefore the choices all that you can be Therefore, I of my own self am nothing and can do nothing. There is only one presence, one will, one power, one intelligence. Therefore, choicelessly, there being only one presence, and I must choicelessly be one with it, therefore, thy presence my sufficiency within thy grace is my sufficiency without
there's no personal life presence to have will choice desire all desire arises out of defici presumed deficiency there is no real deficiency there is only the one absolute or perfect life presence in the timeless world. Everything in time is dreamlike illusion. Finite relative, separate. Therefore, I have no deficiency. Thy presence and thy grace is my sufficiency. I have no wants. There is no personal life to have once, and there is no deficiency. It requires me to want. My grace is my sufficiency. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Want referring to both a state of deficiency or a state of want, and want also referring to want as desire. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not. He is me. There is simply nothing for me to do, and nothing for me to be, nothing for me to know. Nothing for me to become or to want. There is only God's presence, God's spirit, the spiritual presence, the Christ presence, is all there is for me to be, to see. To know all choices with. I have my own self am nothing and can do nothing, therefore whatever I do will be in vain. It will be an illusory being doing an illusory doing. I am and have no personal will or power of my very own. I have no personal reality or life presence of my own. Therefore, except the Lord buildeth the house, they labor in vain who build it. And 
And those who wait upon the Lord shall have their strength renewed. We have no personal sense of potency. Those who surrender to God's presence, to God's will, and choicelessly live by God's ways, will be provided for. God provides for himself. And therefore provides for all individual life forms that stand as one in identity, identity with him. Truly, God does not provide anything. And the perfection realization of your oneness with Christ's presence and identity metaphorical forms of that perfection as experiences of good in your individual experience in this green light the world of relative existence will then correspondingly manifest in what is called grace First, the kingdom of God and its righteousness, and all things will be added unto thee. Realize your oneness with the Christ presence and its inherent absoluteness, absolute good or perfection, realization. And all of its metaphorical correspondence that you require will appear in this dreamlike plane of relative existence. But as spiritual beings, we are not concerned with the things that are added unto thee, but with our realization of our oneness with the Christ presence, the kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven in which we always already choicelessly abide. in the time was now of eternity or eternal now God's presence being all that is absolute good and infinite supply infinite depth, endlessly unfolding itself at every deeper levels. Is all that I need, having that 
presence as my very own life presence or being. Then I have and am all the good that it is. All that I have is thine. It is my pleasure, great pleasure, to give thee the kingdom. I cannot give you part of myself without giving you all of myself. In realization of your own life presence as the Christ presence, you have all the good that God is. You are all the good that God is. I am this one presence. And thou art this one presence. This one conscious life presence is the conscious life presence speaking. presence that is listening. Therefore, there is only one essential spiritual practice. The arousing of the spiritual presence of God and the continuous communion with it until you awaken as not other than that perfect spiritual conscious life presence of God. Dropping all sense of being a personal life presence, personal will, power, identity, all personal self-knowledge, self-concepts, self-images, all presumptions, beliefs, about a personal life story living in time, finite time. All personal feelings, desires, sensations. Sacrificing the totality of that as a personal sense of life presence. holding yourself to be the real I of absolute consciousness. Mm -hmm. 
turning your consciousness upon consciousness itself know the knower know thyself as the Gothic oracle suggests turning your consciousness upon the real eye of consciousness itself Then the life presence of that consciousness will be realized. The realization simply I am, or I exist. That presence will be very faint at first. Perhaps a rising to consciousness as a vibrational energy sound. just the still small voice expressing some scriptural passage to you perhaps letting you know that that presence is present A vision, a revelation, an intuition, an inspiration of some kind. The presence may take any form. you will realize that it is a spiritual presence, a transcendental presence, not a transpersonal, <coughs> rather, it is a transpersonal presence, not a personal sense of life presence. Which in time will expand into a fully glowing, shining, radiant presence of absolute light of consciousness and loving warmth and blissful life energy presence. in Christ Jesus will be your mind. And you will realize that 
every life form. When fully matured in consciousness, will realize its true identity as the Christ self. And then one's individual life form, function, of that Christ mind, within that Christ mind, or divine mind of the God-man. As I was saying, once that uh, individualized form of the Christ mind, the eternal archetypal idea and function within that Christ mind is fully awake to its divine I am self-realization as the Christ mind. Then it lives in the heaven of that Christ mind, Christ presence. Even yet while still appearing upon this earth. That is the kingdom of heaven that is within thee. That is everyone's ultimate destiny. Maturation of your consciousness into the, that divine I am self-realization or Christ's presence, awakening, is the only true meaning in life. May God bless you all and bring you to that awakening soon. <laughs>